After the BBC highlight concerns over Amazon privacy, we navigate through the process of deleting your stored recordings. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. Recent UK media reports have highlighted the possibility of Amazon workers listening to your stored recordings. In this tutorial, we discover how to access and delete them. We begin by running the Alexa app, and here we're using the iOS version, although functionality is identical on other platforms. At the main screen, we access the menu from the upper left corner, selecting settings from the options which appear. At the settings dialog, we select Alexa privacy. There are four selections available, and we'll briefly review each, beginning with the option to review voice history, the main focus of this tutorial. Before we perform any deletion, the obvious caveat here is that Alexa uses the data it collects to better understand and respond to you. It follows that deleting your data potentially reduces that level of personalization, and therefore whilst you may wish to remove specific recordings for privacy reasons, deletion on a larger scale may impact upon the overall performance of the service. As ever with devices of this type, there's a balance to be drawn between personalization and privacy. By default, deletion by voice is disabled, but moving this slider to the on position and subsequently selecting enable will allow you to perform future deletions purely by voice, and therefore without the need to access the app, with spoken commands including delete what I just said and delete everything I said today. Using the app offers more granular control. In addition to simply deleting all recordings from today, we can select the date range drop down to delete from yesterday, this week, this month, the entire history or a custom range. Where we choose to delete only specific recordings, we can filter by device, restricting our list of recordings to only those originating from specific devices. We can select an individual recording and expand its entry via the drop down. We can play back the recording simply by tapping this icon. Additionally, we have the option to delete that single recording. Once tapped, the recording is deleted and no longer appears on the list. Of course, we can also tick multiple entries before exercising the option to delete selected recordings. Returning to the main privacy menu, we can also manage our smart home device's history, and here we have an all or nothing option to delete device status history. Once again returning to the main menu, the third option allows for management of skill permissions, and the range of potential permissions available is extensive. Selecting each option reveals the apps which have requested permissions to access your data. The final menu item repeats some of the settings previously covered, adding the option to automatically delete recordings which is disabled by default. Selecting it offers the option to keep recordings for either 3 or 18 months, automatically deleting after that time. You need to scroll down to view the final permissions, which are enabled by default, and which potentially allow human access to manually review your recordings. Again, if you find this invasive, you may wish to turn both of these options off. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.